All right, what's good, guys? Um, back with episode two in the PSP emulator series. Uh, in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to install GPSP for all PSP models on any custom firmware to play Game Boy Advance games. In my opinion, probably one of the best systems to emulate on the PSP. It's fast, the graphics are, are manageable, and the gameplay is PISA. So let's get started. Download the file in the description, and once you do, connect USB mode. All right, here's the file in the description. Let me just get my PSP open. Now this has a PSP folder in it. So this is the easiest way to do this. Just select this PSP folder right there. Uh, let's try that again. Select the PSP folder and drop it not inside any folders but down here where there are no folders drop it there and you'll get this warning do you want to merge this folder Hit yes and it will copy all the GPSP stuff now with Game Boy Advance you need a GBA BIOS .bin file now because of um, because of, uh, what do they call it, copyright, I'm not allowed to provide you with that file. You can go and look for it on your own. It's, uh, it's called GBA BIOS, GBA, I think, underscore BIOS, B-I-O-S dot bin. You're going to need that file to be able to play. I'm not giving you that file. You can find it on your own. But once you drag that PSPO folder over, you are good to go. So we're going to go back to CoolROM, CoolROM.com, that's where I get all my ROMs from. Or you can try Sneaky-Media.com. Just go up here, ROM files, select Game Boy Advance, and it will show you all the, uh, the most popular games down at the bottom. Uh, let's see, let's pick one of these. We'll go Zelda, the Minish Cap. I love Zelda games, they're badass. And you just gotta wait a few seconds. And here's your download link, there's your button. Click on the button, it will download the file for you. Now, GBA games are a little large, but in the long run, it's totally worth it because GBA is one of my favorite systems to emulate on the PSP. So, while we're doing this, while it's downloading, open up your PSP folder open up your game folder and then you should have this GPSP-J open that up and then go into ROMs okay now we're gonna open up this Zelda file and you see you'll have Zelda the Minish Cap GBA GBA files are your Game Boy Advance ROMs so all your .GBA files are gonna go into the ROM folder inside of the GPSP folder you can delete these two files here. You don't need those. And then just select the ROM, drag it into the ROM folder, and it will copy. See, 16 megabytes for one game. I mean, Zelda games are huge, but you should expect the games to be at least uh, six, seven megabytes and above for each GP. Game Boy Advance game. Now, you can close all this stuff and go back to the PSP. Now, when you go over to your game section, and go into your memory stick, you'll see this your Game Boy Advance emulator. You can run that.
and this is what will pop up. It automatically starts you at your ROM list, so you should see your ROMs listed here. Now with this emulator, it's in Japanese, and uh, you'll have to figure out. There is a language. Um, there is a language option in uh, in this version of GPSP. So, might as well show you. Uh, let me show you really quick how to do this. Uh, all right, here's your main menu. This is in Japanese. So you're gonna want to go down. I believe it's this one. Yeah, it's this one. And then you want to go down all the way. I think I want to say it's this one. And you want to change. Oops, sorry. Change that until it looks like this. That's English. Alright, then I'm going to go back out to the main menu. You want to go down to reset game so that the change takes effect, which I believe is this one. And it's not resetting game. Well, if you exit, and then reload. It should be in English, so we're going to do that. We'll go back into GPSP. You guys see the, the menu stuff in the bottom? is in English now. If you go back, everything else is in English too. So let's select that game. Oh, the game's not loaded yet. Go up here, load game. Press circle. Circle is select. So you need to press circle instead of X. And here's Zelda. It will bring you to your, uh, your ROM list. Hit circle. And there you have it. Make sure you put your GBA underscore BIOS dot bin file in the uh, in the GPSP folder on your memory stick. I'm not allowed to give you that. I'm not going to break copyright on YouTube. That'd be kind of silly because I have a legal copy of the GBA BIOS. So that's that. That's how you get. Uh, that's how you get Game Boy Advance on your PSP. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe, react, all that jazz. Check out sneaky-codes.tk for all your PSP-related material, custom firmware, firmware updates, all that good good stuff. And uh, check out sneaky-media.com for all your PSP-friendly movies, ISOs, TV shows, music, the whole nine yards. You can get it all. So, yeah, Sworn Leader signing out. Check for Episode 3 coming soon, Sega Genesis. We're going, guys.